Next topic, application of trigonometry. The practical applications of what you have done earlier, the formulas that you have learned, opposite of an adjacent, ed, what are the formulas, trigonometric ratios came, and the trigo table. How do you use them practically in your real life? Now these are used to measure heights and distances. Now, geography mein tumne dekha hai, mountains ki height so and so hai, 8, 4, 4, 8 meter. So, what do you think, ko measuring table ke chade doni honge mountain pe? How do you measure those heights? Suppose this is a mountain, yaha pe ek observer khada hai. To wo angle tumhe inclination pata chal sakta hai ki ye inclination kitna hai by the ground. Aur mountain se leke observer ka distance pata chal sakta hai. Ground ka distance, wo measure ho sakta hai easily. So, this distance can be measured by using trigonometry. If you have theta, you have the edge of 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 and the opposite side find out. So, tan the formula is used everywhere when you have a body height stand up. It's not practically possible to physically measure the height. So, for that, you need to know some concepts. First is line of vision. Suppose observer here is standing here and this is the object. Okay? And if the observer looks straight at this object, then this is called the line of vision. Next is angle of elevation. Observer here is standing here, the object is above. So, to measure the inclination, you need to measure the base. To measure the angle, you need to measure the base. How is the angle? This is the base, it is the angle. So, if someone is looking at it, you need to measure the angle base to the base. So, the point from where we can observe straight is the horizontal line. And, where you are looking at it, that line is line of vision. So, this is your angle of elevation. This is the base and you are looking at it. So, this is the angle of elevation. So, this is the angle of elevation. So, this is the angle of elevation. So, that is the angle of elevation. And next is the angle of depression. If you look straight, 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 and next is if you look down. So this is your angle of depression. Again, angle of depression is measured for horizontal line chain. So the point from where you can observe straight to the point where it's observing down. So this is your line of vision and this is the horizontal line based on measuring the time. So three, this is your line of vision that you are looking at where you are looking at. These two concepts will be used in your sums. Angle of elevation or angle of depression be clearly measured uh, given hoga ki angle of elevation and angle of depression. Next we will solve some solve example based on the formulas that we did now. First solve example page 133. An observer at a distance of 10 meters from a tree looks at the top of the tree and the angle of elevation is 60 degree. What is the height of the tree? So tree aap tumhara object hai chaan wo dekh rahe and observer here. We do not assume the height of the observer ki wo ikna or na se dekh raha hoga. We assume the observer as one single point. Here as it is distance of 10 meter from the tree. This is your tree or yaha pe wo khada hai. So this distance is 10 meter and we assume this to be a right angle. Angle of elevation is 60. He is observing the top of the tree. And this angle is 60. We are required to find out height of the tree. So first we will write the information that we have. Let AB be the tree. C be the position of observer. Observer or K ka distance kitna hai? 10 meters. Therefore, BC equals to 10 meters. Angle of elevation equals to angle ACB equals to 60 degree. Now, to me height of the tree find out karna hai. So, 
What which side is that compared to the theta you know? Opposite hypotenuse is adjacent on the side. Opposite side is. और मैं पता कौन सा साइड है वैल्यू किसका पता है एडजेसेंट साइड का तो ऑपोजिट अपॉन एडजेसेंट किसका फार्मूला है tan सो वी विल टेक tan थीटा इन राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल ए बी सी tan थीटा हमारा c है वी हैव द नेम सो वी नो tan थीटा tan c इक्वल्स टू ऑपोजिट अपॉन एडजेसेंट ऑपोजिट साइड मतलब ए बी एडजेसेंट मतलब बी सी C का वैल्यू तुम्हें पता है 60 डिग्री। Now what values do we have? We have tan 60, we have BC. ये भी मिल जाए। Tan 60 टेबल में देखोगे, you have the value as root 3 and BC is 10. आगे AB, AB equals to 10 root 3 meters. Next, we are given the value of root 3 in the question. So, we will substitute the value 10 equal into 1.73, which gives you 17.3. So, final answer again the height of the tree is 17.3 meters. Next, all example 2, page 134. The question says From the top of a building, an observer is looking at a scooter parked at some distance away. And he makes an angle of depression of 30 degree from a top of a building. The big building here. We have an observer. Okay. This is your building. Observer top is standing on the top. He is looking at a scooter parked at some distance away. Suppose the object is here. Or he is looking here. He makes an angle of depression of 30 degree. So. Do not make the mistake of taking this angle as 30 degree. We make our angle always with reference to a horizontal line. If the observer is standing here, then what is the horizontal line? So this angle is 30 degree. This building is not the horizontal line. If an observer is standing here, this is his horizontal line and this is his line of vision. So this is angle is 30 degree. So this angle is 30 degree. This is his horizontal line and this is his line of vision. So this angle is 30 degree. If the height of the building is 40 meters, Then find out how far the scooter is from the building. B distance find out. B C. This is building. This is scooter. B C find out. So अभी A B C triangle form हो रहा है. We do not know any theta in A B C. तो कैसा आएगा? We assume that these two lines are parallel. So, this is 30 degree, so this is 30 degree, we know the theta, we know the opposite side, we have to find the adjacent side. So, here are the statements. Let AB be the building. Height of the building is 40 meters. A is the position of observer. Angle of depression. उसके बाद दिया हुआ है हमें. नहीं पहले तुम E ऐसे एंगल लिखोगे तो C क्या है वो लिखना पड़ेगा. C is the position of object or scooter. Angle of depression is angle EAC equals to 30 degree. Now we assume that this horizontal line and this ground are parallel to each other. So AE parallel to BC. So what are your alternate angles over here? Angle EAC is congruent to angle ACB which is equal to 30 degree. Now we have all the information, we can take the required ratio. In right angle triangle A, B, C. Tan of which angle? C. Therefore, 
tan 30 equals to AB upon BC. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 from table. Forty root 3. Root 3 ka value again given at 1.73. which gives you answer 69.2 meters. Next all example on page 134. To find the width of a river, a man observes the top of a tower on the opposite bank, making an angle of elevation of 61. Suppose we have a river, jiska width itna hai. Okay. It's flowing in this width. And a man observes the top of the tower on the opposite bank, making an angle of elevation of 61. Yeah, pay this bank pay suppose a tower hai, and the uh, position of the person is here. Yeah, say wo tower ka top dikta hai, the angle of elevation is 61. Okay. River hai, yeah, pay tower hai. We assume that wo tower or a uh, person who is exactly bank pay khade. When he moves 50 meters backward from the bank, he is standing here, he goes back 50 meters. He observes the same top of the tower and the angle of elevation now is 35. Suppose he is standing here at point B. Again from here he observes the top of the tower and the angle becomes 35. So we are required to find out the height of the tower and width of the river. Height of the tower method AC and width of the river method AB. Okay. So we will explain a diagram. First of all, we will get out of AB. AB is the river. AB is width of But when we draw AC, what is the tar? AC is height of tar. <coughs> B is the initial position of observer. From there, he makes angle of elevation <coughs> Then he moves 50 meters backwards So BD equals to 50 meters And again, this angle of elevation First to angle C D A equals to thirty five. Okay. You get diagram for explanation. Now, to make eight triangle ka koi value pata nahi. Even if you consider C A B, to usme to ek bhi side ka value nahi pata. And if you consider whole triangle C A D, so you know that only B D is known, the whole A D is not known. So if you consider so, even if you consider whole triangle C A D, you know that only C A is known, not A D is known. So we have to compare the values from two triangles. For one time, we will take C A D, one time we will take C A D, in that case, A C will be two times. So, those values we will compare and substitute them. So, suppose first we take triangle CAB and obviously ratio to tan loge because you have opposite sign and adjacent related values. 
पूरा एडजस्टमेंट साइड नहीं पता है बट एटलीस्ट बी डी डिस्टेंस पता है तो एन यू टेक ए डी यू कैन एडिट एस ए बी प्लस बी डी तो बी डी फिफ्टी होगा सो सपोज फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल लिया हमने इन राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सी ए बी एन डी इक्वल्स टू ऑपोजिट अपॉन एडजस्टमेंट ऑपोजिट साइड है ए सी एडजस्टमेंट है ए बी बी इज सिक्सटी वन ए सी ए बी कुछ नहीं बता टेन सिक्सटी वन का वैल्यू है वन पॉइंट एट एंड ए बी को हम ए साइड लेकर आएंगे तो वन पॉइंट एट ए बी इक्वल्स टू ए सी ये वैल्यू आया स्टॉप इट अगर कुछ नहीं हो सकता वी डू नॉट नो ए बी और ए सी ना दूसरा टैंगल कौन सा है बड़ा वाला सी ए बी अगेन टैन डी उसमें डी पता है तो डी लोगे डी का वैल्यू है थर्टी फाइव उसका ऑपोजिट क्या है ए बी की जगह क्या लिख सकते हो ए बी प्लस बी डी नाउ बी डी का वैल्यू पता है फिफ्टी Now suppose AB अगर तुम्हारा x है तो पूरा ये expression in terms of x से एक ही variable अनोन है you can find out AB तो next step क्या है logical क्या करोगे जो denominator में है इसको ये side लेकर आओगे so we get 0.7 into AB plus 50 ये है 1.8 AB as it is 0.7 multiply करोगे रखोगे So thirty five equals to one point eight AB minus zero point seven AB. One point eight minus zero point seven. We get answer as one point one. So AB equals to thirty five upon one point one. Remove the decimal. So eleven. These are thirty-three. Twenty. One's a eleven. Ninety. Eight's a eighty-eight. Twenty again. One's a eleven. And again, eight's a eighty-eight. So round up for okay, so you get thirty one point eight two meters. ये आया तुम्हें A B और क्या find out करना है A C B find out करना है. So A C तो ये है direct. A B की value यहाँ पे substitute करोगे, C आ जाएगा.
you multiply these both terms, you get answer as 57.28. So, final answer, death of liver, is Next, fourth solid example on page 135. Roshni sees an eagle on the top of the tree at an angle of elevation of 61 from her house. Then she goes on the terrace which is at a height of 4 meters. So, if we consider the house, ko, ek dot ne consider karenge, we will draw a line. This tree hai, aur ye uska house. Hai. So first, she observes from the door, Matlab base. So angle of elevation aya, 61. Then she goes on the terrace, which is at a height of 4 meters. So suppose this house hai, which is of 4 meter. Then again, from there she sees the eagle, angle, angle of elevation is 52. So yahan se, we draw a horizontal line. This angle of elevation is 52. At what height from the ground is the eagle? The ground is eagle of position. So, I will find out the value of A and B. Ka So, we will extend the diagram. A, B is the tree. And C, D is house. Okay. Then, C, D 4 meters there. Explain angle of elevation is 61. So, <coughs> we have two angle of elevation, so we will mention angle of elevation from C equals to angle ACD equals to 61. And then we have to draw D perpendicular draw here. So that we get angle ADE. Now, which triangles will you take? I mean, A, B, find out them. We have two triangles A, E, D, and A, B, C. But we do not have any values. D, C has 4 meters, so yeah, that's a hai. Four. And I will AB find out. Last triangles have two sides common. So we have two values compare. Kar di. This side was common. This side was compare. This side was side bhi pura common. Hai. ED and BC will be same. Okay, rectangle. 
तो जैसे डी सी ओ बी इक्वल है वैसे बीई एंड बी सी भी इक्वल है सो फर्स्ट विल बी ट्राइंगल ए बी डी का वैल्यू फाइंड आउट करेंगे एंड वही सब शुरू करेंगे बीस में सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक ट्राइंगल 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 ए डी टैन बी इक्वल्स टू अपोजिट अपॉन एच एस बी का वैल्यू है फिफ्टी टू ऑपोजिट साइड इज ए एच एस एंड इज बी हमें डी का वैल्यू कंपेयर करना है सो हम बी को एक साइड रखेंगे एंड टाइम फिफ्टी टू नीचे आएगा टाइम फिफ्टी टू का वैल्यू है नेक्स्ट हम ट्राइंगल लेंगे बड़ा वाला ए बी सी टैन सी सी का वैल्यू है सिक्सटी वन इट इज द ऑपोजिट साइड नाउ ए बी इज द ऑपोजिट साइड एंड द एच साइड इज बी सी टेन सिक्सटी वन की वैल्यू है वन पॉइंट एट ए बी की जगह हम क्या लिख सकते हैं डेट हमने रेक्टेंगल लिखा नहीं है तो फर्स्ट रेक्टेंगल लिखना पड़ेगा कॉलेक्टर ई बी सी डी इज रेक्टेंगल देवर बी ई इक्वल्स टू डी सी इक्वल्स टू फोर And ED equals to BC. बदले हम क्या लिख सकते हैं ए प्लस ई बी एंड बी सी की जगह वी कैन राइट बिकॉज हमें ईडी का वैल्यू मिला यहाँ पे ए का वैल्यू भी हम सब शुरू कर सकते हैं सो ए इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट टू एट डी वन पॉइंट टू एट कर दिया ओके तो ए का वैल्यू और डी का वैल्यू दोनों सब शुरू करें ये दोनों बैंक सब शुरू करोगे सो दैट तुम्हारा इक्वेशन खाली ए बी कंजर्व होना चाहिए सो सपोज ए को वैल्यू सब शुरू किया वन पॉइंट टू एट डी ई बी इज फोर बी डी को डी रखो डी को सबसे मत करो एंड आई डन दिस बिकॉज डी का वैल्यू ए ई अपॉन वन पॉइंट टू एट था तो वो थोड़ा तुम्हारा कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक है वहां पूरा इक्वेशन आ गया टर्म्स ऑफ बी दू सॉल इट ये डी इधर जाएगा Okay. 
So we get answer 0 0.52 DE equals to 4. Remove <coughs> the decimals, you get this 400 upon 52. Reduce it by 4, we get 100 upon 13. 100 upon 13 will divide by 9. Something nine aega. So hundred over thirteen ka value seven point six nine. Yeah, I have D ka value. We need A B. Uske liye we need to find out A B. So this equation se mil jayega. A E equals to one point two eight D E. Multiply it okay? You get answer as 9.84 round off right there. <coughs> now AB is to addition of AE and B. AE ka value hai 9.84 BE is 4. So you get answer as 13.84. In question, you are given that answer correct up to nearest integer. This nearest integer kya hoga? Add 1 karoge. Suppose tum round off karo isko. So that will become 14 meters. Next question 1 of practice at 6.2. We are given a person is standing at a distance of 80 meters from the church. Suppose this is a church and person is standing at a distance of 80 meters from the church. So A B is the church and C is the position of observer. Angle of elevation of the top is 45. Ye top hai. Yaan se wo dekh hai. So angle of elevation is 45. And we are required to find out the height of the church. A simple sum based on first all example. AB is the height of church. C is the position of observer. Therefore, nature distance the other angle of elevation is angle A C D, which is forty five. So, in right angle triangle A B C. C is 45 degree, opposite side is AB, adjacent side is BC. And 45 from table value is 1. Final answer you will write height of the church is 18 meters. Next 
question 2 based on second solve example from the top of a lighthouse an observer is looking at the ship so suppose this is a lighthouse yahan se observer dekh raha hai ship ko and the angle of depression is 60 degree again this is not an angle of depression observer se horizontal line draw karo this is your angle of depression and we are given that the height of the lighthouse is 90 meters this is 90 meters and we are required to find out how far is the ship from the lighthouse we see find out the So let AB be the lighthouse A is the position of observer C is position of ship AB ka height diya hua hai 90 meters Angle of depression is angle DAC Iske baad We have to take alternate angles You got TCB as 60. Most of the sums will use tan only because that is why you height find out karna hoga, ya to distance find out karna hoga. This hypotenuse is hardly used, so most of the sums will use tan. In right angle triangle ABC, tan C equals to opposite upon adjacent. Therefore, BC equals to 90 upon root 3. Now, do not substitute the root 3 value over here and divide the other problem. So, first rationalize it and then substitute the value. So, 90 root 3 upon root 3 into root 3 gives you 3. So, here we will to reduce. Now you substitute the value. This gives zero. Two decimals. Fifty two point nine. So your final answer is The distance of shift from the lighthouse is next question three. We are given there are two buildings which are facing each other on the road of width twelve meter. So, there are two buildings and width is 12 meters. So, I don't know what the height is, hai. so let's see, what is the height of the buildings. From the top of the first building, which is 10 meters high, the angle of elevation of the top of second is found to be 60 degree. But if you look at this top, you can see this building is small, the first building and the second building is big. This is your small building. From this top, you can see this top. So this angle is 60. 
यहाँ पे ऑब्जर्वर खड़ा है तो उसका हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन ये होगा एंड यहाँ से वो ऊपर देख रहा है तो ये हुआ एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड ये ट्वेल्व मीटर्स है वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड आउट द हाइट ऑफ सेकेंड बिल्डिंग ये हाइट हमें फाइंड आउट And we are given the height of the first building is ten meters. Okay. So now, yes, there is sorry, those straight lines that we assume they are perpendicular. Or if horizontal line which we have drawn, they are assumed to be perpendicular. Line. So, suppose A B A building is C D another building. So we first write the information that we have got, and then we will see. लेट सी डी कैसे मिलेगा हाइट ऑफ टू बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट बिल्डिंग का हाइट दिया हुआ है ए बी इक्वल्स टू टेन बी सी डी तुम्हें पता है And to take the angle sixty degree, we have drawn this A. So A E perpendicular to C D. Angle of elevation equals to angle C A E equals to sixty. Now, to me, C D how can we get it? ये जो बन रहा है वो क्या होगा रेक्टेंगल होगा तो इफ दिस इज दिस विल बी दिस इज टेन दिस विल बी टेन अभी सी डी में तुम्हें क्या नहीं पता है खाली सीई वो कैसे मिलेगा बाय टेकिंग ट्राइंगल सी ए वी नो एजुसन साइड ऑपोजिट साइड फाइंड आउट करें देन एड करके पूरा सी डी मिल जाएगा नाउ ऑर्डिनेटर ए बी डी ई is rectangle therefore ab equals to de equals to 10 meters and bd equals to ae equals to 12 meters sare measures are there are right angle ka theek so in right angle triangle C E A tan कौन सा ले रहे हम A opposite upon H S opposite side is C E adjacent is A E Since we are not given the value of root three in your sum, we'll keep this value as it is. So, हो गया, C आ गया, well root three. Last step क्या बचा है? C D find out करना है, so you simply have to add. So, C D is the height of building जो तुम्हें find out करना है, C E plus C D. C is well root three. It is ten. Final answer. Height of second building. Is next question four. We are given two poles of height eighteen meters and seventeen meters are erected on the ground. So one is of eighteen meters and one is of seven meters. The length of the wire fastened on their tops is twenty two meters. दोनों का top है. 
एक वायर है विच इज टाइड एंड वायर इज ऑफ 22 मीटर और रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल मेड बाय वायर विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल ये वायर है तो इसका हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन यहां पे आएगा दे आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड आउट दिस एंगल जॉइन दिस टू So we write the two information. AB and CD are two poles. So AB का height है 18 meter. CD is 7 meter. And AC is wire. therefore AC equals to 22 CE perpendicular to AB हमने रख लिया now we are required to find out angle ACE so we need to know some ratio sin cos या tan तो वो ratio का value पता होगा तो we can see the corresponding value in the table और तुम्हें angle मिल जाएगा तो अभी तुम्हें ये hypotenuse पता है We need to know either AE or EC. Okay? Hyperlinus पता है, opposite या adjacent पता चल जाएगा, तो तुम्हें sine या cos का value आ जाएगा. So now which value is possible? AE आ सकता है या फिर EC आ सकता है? AE. AE आएगा, because this is rectangle, ये seven है, तो ये भी seven है. And this will be eighteen minus seven, which is eleven. तो ये sine theta से तुम्हारा आगे आ जाएगा. Okay? So quadrilateral E B D C is rectangle. Therefore, C D equals to B E equals to seven meters. Next step find out करना है A E. तो A E is A B minus B E. Now in triangle A E C we know two sides, opposite and hypotenuse. So what's the ratio of sine? In right angle triangle A E C, sine, you have to find out what's the ratio of C. So sine C equals to opposite upon hypotenuse. Opposite is 11, because we write the values, A E upon AC eleven upon twenty two, which gives you value one upon two. Now we see how value gets accepted. We'll see half का हाफ आता है साइन के टेबल में थर्टी में आता है, so half की जगह we can write साइन थर्टी. Therefore, angle C equals to 30 degrees. Final answer. What is the question? What is the angle made by wire? Angle made by wire is horizontal. Now there is only one trick in this question to know how to get the ratio of the ratio. How do you know how to get it? Which sides do you need? You have to find out the angle. So corresponding to this angle, we know opposite and we know hypotenuse. And opposite among hypotenuse is the formula sin. So we take sin. Next question fifth. A straw breaks a tree and the tree top is rested 20 meters from the base of the tree. Suppose this is the unbroken tree. And the storm breaks the tree और ये part नीचे गिर जाता है makes an angle of sixty degree with the horizontal and is rested at twenty meters from the base मतलब 
ये ट्वेंटी मीटर्स है ये ट्री का टॉप है सपोज ये ए सी अनब्रोकन ट्री है एंड इट इज ब्रोकन फ्रॉम पॉइंट बी तो ये टॉप आ गया नीचे ओके ट्री का से गिर गया तो ये टॉप आ गया नीचे एंड द टॉप मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री विद द हॉरिजोन सो दिस एंगल इज सिक्सटी डिग्री वे आर रिक्वायर टू फाइंड द टोटल हाइट ऑफ द ट्री टोटल हाइट मतलब ये पूरा हाइट है so we are required to find out both BC and AB. AB is the broken part, BC is the standing part. so total height क्या होगा? BC plus AB. okay तो हम दोनों sides का value find out करेंगे. so right BC is the unbroken part. And AB is the broken part of Q. Okay. And the top is rested at twenty meters from the base. So AC का value आया twenty meters. And angle of elevation नहीं है यहाँ पे. Angle of top with horizontal equals to angle B A C equals to sixty. We have all the values. We have to find out B C and we have to find out A B. So B C find out करने के लिए तो कौन सा रिश्ता आएगा? Opposite और adjacent मतलब tan. Opposite is BC and adjacent is AC. Tan 60 is root 3. AC is 20. 20 root 3. Then, to make AB find out karma. AB is on the side of hypotenuse. So, Suppose this is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse. कौन सा ratio लोगे? Cos. Cos लोगे. इधर ways तो मैं opposite side भी पता चल गया है अभी. तो हम sine भी ले सकते हैं. So sine a equals to opposite or the cos the cos a upon so cos sixty equals to adjacent is ac. Hypotenuse is A B. Cos sixty is one upon two. Therefore, A B equals to forty. Total height of three. is BC plus AB. Final answer. This both cannot be added. This is a sword and this is a whole number. Next question six. We are given a kite is flying at a height of sixty meters above the ground. Suppose this is the ground. We have a kite. A string is attached to the kite and is tied to the ground, which makes an angle of sixty degree with the ground. Kite को एक string attached किया है with the ground and this string makes an angle of Sixty degree with the ground. 
एंड तुम्हें काइट का हेड गिवन है फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड मतलब ये डिस्टेंस है 60 मीटर वे रिक्वायर टू फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग फाइंड आउट करना है मतलब हाइपोटेनस फाइंड आउट करना है व्हिच साइड डू यू नो ऑपोजिट साइड सो वी विल टेक रेशियो साइन लेंगा डायग्राम A is the position of kite. B C is the ground. Therefore, A B is sixteen meters. Then, A C is the string. Angle of string with ground equals to angle A C D. So six degrees. A right angle triangle A B C. Sine C equals to opposite of one hypotenuse. A B is sixty and A C. Sign sixty ka value three upon three upon two. A C equals to sixty into two upon two. Again, we have used the denominator, so we will rationalize. फोर्टी रूट थ्री रूट थ्री का वैल्यू दिया गया है वन पॉइंट सेवेन थ्री सी नाइन पॉइंट टू इज़ आंसर आइए लांच हो लेंथ ऑफ़ द स्ट्रिंग 